Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mark Engber, and this is what's going on in Hopkins today. Uh, the Hopkins School District will be holding a public input meeting on its 2009 and 10 budget from 6.30 to 8 p.m. tonight at the Eisenhower Community Center in Hopkins. Uh, the district is planning to make numerous cuts to its budget, primarily due to the state's budget crisis, which is expected to affect pretty much all of Minnesota's public schools. <laughs> MNSun.com editor Greg Huff here with John Sherman who covers the Hopkins Royals who have an exciting trip on the docket. John? Well Greg it's going to be a, a big intersectional game coming up this weekend Friday the 13th to be exact the Hopkins High Boys basketball team undefeated number one ranked in Minnesota is going to be in New York City at Fordham University to face Thomas Jefferson from Brooklyn, New York. It's going to be a, a very exciting game, probably the biggest challenge of the season for Hopkins, and this uh, could be a coming out party for the Royals and their star player Royce White, 6'7", senior center, is going to be going to the University of Minnesota next season. His medal is going to be tested by this uh, Thomas Jefferson team how Friday do, night. How does Thomas Jefferson rank up in the national rankings, and, and where is Hopkins in the rankings right now? They're both uh, top 25 teams. I haven't seen this week's rankings, but Thomas Jefferson is one of the most prestigious programs in uh, the New York City area, and this is going to be a great test for Hopkins. This could be the only game that Hopkins has a chance to, to lose this year, although I'm hoping that Hopkins is going to come through. I wish I was going to be there to see it, but I'll be here. They haven't found room for you on, on, the, on the back of the plane? No, apparently not. I'm, <laughs> and I'm too big to ride in cargo, so I don't think I'll be seeing the game, but I will be getting a report for the paper next week, and it'll also be on our internet uh, as of uh, this coming Saturday. I'll have a report on the internet for our fans in the uh, suburbs to read. Breaking news. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, John, and we'll look forward to seeing your report on MNSun.com on Saturday morning after the game. The Hopkins Activity Center will be offering free tax assistance to seniors and low to middle income individuals from 9, a, 9 to 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. The Activity Center will be offering this service each Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning through April 15th. Uh, participants should bring all tax forms they received in the mail as well as last year's tax return. Help is provided on a first-come, first-served basis. For more information, you can call 952-939-1333. The curtain goes up this Friday on Eden Prairie Players production of On Golden Pond. Performances are this Friday and Saturday, February 13th and 14th at the Eden Prairie High School Auditorium. You can also catch it next weekend on Friday and Saturday, the 20th and 21st at 7.30 p.m. And a final performance, which is a matinee at 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. Uh, the play's director, Shelley Smith, shares her connection with the play that was also a hit movie starring Katherine Hepburn and Henry Fonda. On Golden Pond is about everybody's family. It's about relationships that we can all relate to. Um, Ernest Thompson, the playwright, wrote it when he was an angry young man at the age of 28, and since has done many rewrites of it. Um, at the time, he thought he was writing about his dysfunctional family, and it actually the, the um, family that is his is very much like our own families with the all the stuff that goes on in your families and. Um, so everybody can relate to it. So it's a, I like to call it a dramedy, because it's a drama that is very funny because it's real, because we can relate to it so well. Tickets for the performances are available at the door. And here's today's forecast. Uh, it's a bit of a wet one out there today. The high will be 44 degrees with a 60% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow it's going to cool off a little with a uh, high of 34 degrees and a 20% chance of precipitation. For Sun Newspapers, I am Mark Ingber. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.